well all set hello everyone uh, my name is jatin and i am from ethens uh, the agenda for this particular video is to walk through along the syllabus as well as to see what actually we are going to cover in this particular python classes and how we are going to cover that so let's get started with the agenda we have the first thing is in this particular session i am going to describe yeah. about myself what I basically do, what my prior experience, and how I'm going to take the syllabus going forward. The first thing is I discuss about myself. Okay. Second thing is I'm also going to discuss about what we are going to cover in this particular classes. What we are going to cover. And third thing I'm going to cover is how we are going to cover. Okay, so let's get started with the first agenda. I just try to discuss about myself. My name is Jatin and I'm a Python trainer. I'm giving this Python classes from last six years now. I have total 10 years of IT experience and uh, I'm associated with various institutes over in Pune as well as in India. I'm basically a freelancer trainer. So I take trainings on various institutes. One of them is Ethan's. So I'm going to provide a training over here this course a complete course so my expertise my prior expertise is in investment banking and uh, i like to do programming a lot and uh, i like to cover a lot of things over there i want to go into the deep of the things and try to focus much over the fundamental things that we have because i personally believe that fundamentals is the most important thing everybody should develop over it so this is you know quite about myself and if you want to see more about my details you can simply go google and write my my name over there jatin python and i'm from a pune location so you can check it out more details about that now i, I just try to discuss more about the syllabus which we are going to cover in these classes so this course this complete python course is uh, it's for if i talk about the weekend classes you know because i mostly uh, take these retail trainings on uh, weekends and weekdays I'm mostly engaged with the corporate trainings. Now uh, if I discuss about this weekend classes, this weekend classes is for uh, two months. Total we are going to cover 16 to 18 classes roughly. I, it can extend a bit as well. So uh, it starts with the module one. So if I go back to the syllabus, I hope you have got through the syllabus to our website. This, this syllabus is mostly focused for DevOps people as well as for QA automation engineers because Python is very heavily used in uh, QA automation as well as I talk about the data analytics part as well. So if you go to the syllabus, this syllabus is, is containing 14 different modules. If you talk about the first module, it's mostly on a Python introduction, the basic of it, followed by the core object, again, the basic of it, conditional statement and loops, again, the basic of it, User-defined function and object functions is again a basic of it. Fine handling operations, now a part is kind of a basic operations. So module one to module five, I try to put it into a bucket called as fundamental bucket. And so I can say a simple fundamental bucket, which is very necessary for every Python developer. Even if you are using Python for analytical purposes or QA automation purposes, or might be for a Django framework or a portal framework or a Flask framework. Now, if, if I just try to extend a bit this particular syllabus, module six is mostly focused on a modular way of programming. How you can divide your code from a structural ways to the module based, followed by the exceptional handling and object-oriented programming. So in this particular classes, we are trying to focus on three different kind of programming structure. One is a structural level, as well as a modular level, as well as an object-oriented level. Our focus is mostly on an object-oriented Python because that's highly used in, in uh, in IT industry. Followed by module eight is more focused on uh, debugging techniques. So we are going to use two different kind of debuggers over here. One is with the help of a PyCharm. PyCharm is an ID which is provided by JetBrain, as well as I'm going to use a PDB debugger as well. So we are going to use a couple of frameworks over here. One framework which I mostly focus on unit test framework, which is one of the very high useful framework available for a testing people. This is the same kind of JUnit framework we have in Java. So we have a similar kind of framework over here in Python called as unit test, and I'm going to touch base a Nodes framework as well. Regular expression is a part of it, which is highly useful for 
every testers or might be data analytical people who are dealing with a lot of data and web scrapping engineers as well. Now module 9 is mostly focused on a database activity we do with the help of Python because so many projects require a database connectivity using Python so I'm going to cover that as well. Package installation is another part of it which is not a very tough task but now you should know about different kind of uh, utilities available in Python like pip, easy underscore install as well as with the help of exes, manual setup, how you can able to do with the help of egg files, all those things I'm going to cover in these classes. Now from module 11 to module 14, the most focus area is basically a data analytics. We first focus on a machine learning application. So we just try to understand what is machine learning and how we can able to develop machine learning application using Python. So I'm going to use a couple of things over here. One, try to develop an application with using Python, normal Python. We use the same application to build with the help of NumPy and see what is the difference between them. And third thing, I'm going to use the same application and try to build it using Skyket Learn or SKLearn and see what are the three differences between no, the same application we have done with normal Python, NumPy and SKLearn. So we just try to focus what are the difference between all three. And we try to visualize a lot of data with the help of Matplotlib as well. The next focus area we have is data analytics and I'm not going to put a lot of uh, real case scenarios over here as well. In fact, in all the classes, we try to focus which kind of problem statement we get and how we can use it. So it's gonna be a you know fun learning, I can say, which is more focused on a real time experience. Data analytics is a part of it. We're using pandas we are going to cover as well as I'm going to cover a basic of uh, Hadoop data processing with Python. So I'm going to cover two things over here, mostly SDFS file system as well as MR job using Python. So we are trying to build uh, uh, processing data processing MR jobs using two different ways. One is using Hadoop streaming as well as another using MR job. And I'm also going to focus on a palettes and part, uh, how to use multi-threading environment in Python, what is multi-processing environment, and what are the packages available for it. So this is about a complete course content, you know, uh, we are going to cover in the classes. Apart from this, we are also focused on uh, assignment as well as live examples. So I tell you, now I come to the third part. So this is about the slavers, okay? And the third thing is we are going to cover a live project as well. So I assign this particular project to the students and students have to build a complete project and get back to me. So this is about, you know, about our slavers, what we are going to cover in the classes. So now it's pretty much uh, clear. Third thing is how we are going to cover in the classes. So I tell you about, about me, how I usually take the labels. I mostly focus on uh, the fundamental things. That's my first thing. And I try to you know encourage you to do a lot of practice over here. So Saturday, Sunday, we have the classes. And Monday to Friday, I give you assignment and exercises. So usually, I provide you a couple of exercises, uh, 52 exercises over here, as well as a lot of assignments. So if you go to the assignment, you can see at least one assignment, uh, one as one level of assignment contains five different assignment to perform. So uh, Saturday Sunday is a classes, five days exercise and assignment. Saturday Sunday is a classes, five days exercise and assignment. And you know this is how actually we work. So I provide a lot of assignment and exercises to you, and I also touch with you through an WhatsApp group, which we create for the students and try to focus on different kind of questions and these activities. So this is about our complete slavers. I uh, wish that you can go through more videos over here. I have the prerequisite videos available in, in YouTube. Just go through it once, okay? In case you have any doubts and questions, you can come back to us and you can uh, you know, just try to clarify them. I hope you understood about the slavers as well as the agenda of this particular course. And I see you in a demo class, so before, uh, any any official classes we always announce the demo class so come to the demo class we discuss about a lot of things more and we come to the conclusion and hope this is gonna be a very very fun learning for you thank you so much my name is Jatin and I'm from Ethan's thank you so much